utter boldness. This is a compliment. You kids have this gift of boldness that even Paul was praying for people to ask him to have anointing and boldness. You guys already have it. So I would just encourage you to pray for people, to say, my God can heal you. Yes. To speak into people, be healed. It's very, very simple. It's two syllables. Be healed. You can speak to bodies that are broken. You can speak to hearts that are broken. And you can say, be healed. And the Holy Spirit will work. Because God has made you his child. And he has set the spirit of adoption upon you. And we all, the rest of us, need to look at the little children as an example for how we should have boldness. Right. So they can look to us as an example for how to have boldness, and exactly. we're looking to them for how to have boldness. That's right. So anyway, um, uh, that's, that's what's in my heart, and I just wanted to thank you guys for your prayer and encourage you to continue to pray with boldness Amen. because of the spirit of adoption. Thanks. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, and um, Silas, uh, he went from a 10% chance of life to a 35% chance of life over by his heart got healed, and uh, the doctor is saying, we don't know why he's getting better. Hallelujah! Well, we might know why. Amen. <laughs> we got the secret, huh? Amen. The secret of the Lord is within the fear. We know his secrets. He loves us like a father. Yeah. Um, you know, I know that's what brought me to the Lord was the love that he had for me. I knew I was a sinner. You know, I didn't, you didn't have to convince me of that. But the Bible says that God commends his love for us. So while we're yet sinners, he died for us. See, and sometimes we get in our mind, well, I'll come to Jesus when I get my life straight. You know, well, that's going to be a lifelong journey that will ne you'll never get there. <laughs> um, but uh, when we come to him as, as a child to a father, that's where the relationship starts. So, another testimony. <coughs> it's a double whammy. Huh? Kind of, yeah. um, you all know Krista's had that bump on her lip. And we had called the doctor, and they said to go ahead and refill the medication and see what happened, or at least the office did. Um, so we went up and spent the $60 on the medication, and they called us in to see us the next week and decided that it wasn't what they thought it was. It had been three months, the medication hadn't worked. So they sent us to an oral surgeon, and we went for the evaluation, and while we, we were in there, they went ahead and removed what it was, which they said is swollen uh, saliva glands in her mouth that had, she had bitten it, and it had form scar tissue and that had allowed the saliva not to be able to escape so it swelled up. So they took that out for us and um, told us, you know, oh, it's going to swell, it's going to be this way, it's going to be that way and hopefully by Monday she'll look better if it's a good thing she wouldn't go to school. As you see, there's very little signs of any swelling and I was able to go back to Costco, it took three trips, but they took the medication back and gave us the money back. So I just really want to thank the Lord that it wasn't anything major. The um, Oral surgeon realized, you know, he found out we didn't have medical insurance yet, and he prorated the bill, so something that I could afford. So we just really want to thank the Lord that this is taken care of, and even though they say, well, it could happen again due to this scarring and stuff, we just really want to pray that it doesn't, and it's Amen. healed, it's done, we don't have to deal with this anymore. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Someone else. financial. Um, long and short of it, we had been praying. Everyone had been praying. Um, two weeks ago, I went from a 30-hour employee at the bank to a 40-hour employee at the bank. Um, so I'm now a full-time teller. 
When I first started this job, I had told Lee, I said, I refuse to be a teller forever. Within six months, I want to be a personal banker. I don't want to be a teller forever. Um, and I told him, I said, but the only condition is I want to stay at my branch. I love the team that I work with. I love my boss. I love our store manager. The day that I started full time, our new personal banker that we had just gotten gave her two weeks notice. She said, I'm leaving, my husband got out of the Navy, we're going back to Ohio. So I put in for that position. It's like, okay, I just hit six months that week. So it was just kind of like everything was falling into place and you know, Lee was, I was like, well, I don't, I'm not gonna apply for it. He was like, what? Um, and I had told my boss I wasn't gonna apply for it. Um, and everybody was just kind of like, I don't understand why, why aren't you applying for it? I was like, because I'm scared, because I don't think I'll get it. Um, apparently, Lee had come into the branch one day to see me, and they had a little powwow. Him and my store manager and the personal bankers. I mean, they were all sitting over there, just you know, they were just planning out my career. Um, <laughs> and my store manager told Lee, "Push her, push her, push her. We need her to apply." So I applied for it. Um, I just need to get past the recruiting part because I have already been told that once I get past the recruiting part, that's when I will start my training in Richmond. So just keep in prayer that I get past that recruiting part because it will be a pay increase. It'll be the same hours, but I'll be at my same branch doing what I want to do. So Hallelujah. just yeah. All right, you kids ready for class? I don't hear anything. That means we skip class today. <laughs> Kids want to go to class? Yeah. No. Where are you going, Jemai? All right. What do we have today, honey? All of them, but don't line up at the same time. Let's have a, the young class first, which is the Lord's Lambs. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Teresa. Next is you need somebody for this. King's kids. King's kids. I'm taking notes. The middle group ages are six to ten. Six to ten. Sister Irene. Raise it up some if I don't know how. Yeah, and then the last class, God's you know how to special you forces. Raise it up down there. Yes. There you, go. you can raise it up higher so you won't have to stoop over so low. Oh, yeah. Center down there. Thank you. Yep. Happy to handle them. I know that. We don't know how to make it go. six months every Sunday. <laughs> the harvest is plentiful, the laborers are few. Yeah. Amen. Well, it's been a good 